This presentation covers the life of Captain John Smith, who lived from 1580 to 1631, as well as his works A Description of New England and The General History of Virginia. Who is Captain John Smith? He was the captain of three shiploads of settlers who landed in Virginia and founded Jamestown, the first permanent English colony in the New World. These settlers did not plant crops and were ill-prepared for survival. More than half of the 105 settlers died the first winter from sickness, Indian attacks, or starvation. Smith, however, was better prepared for survival as he was the son of poor farmers and he had run away to become a mercenary soldier where he learned the courage and determination needed to survive. He emerged as the leader of the new settlement who could save the colony of Jamestown from ruin. In 1608, he was named president of the colony and played a pivotal role in the colony's survival. What became of Captain John Smith? In 1614, Smith was sent to explore New England in search of gold, to collect furs, and to kill whales for oil. He made some of the first accurate maps of the coastline from Maine to Cape Cod, but the voyage was a financial failure and none of his future attempts at exploration or colonization were successful. He tried to hire himself out to the pilgrims, but they instead just brought, bought his maps and reports and did not have him sail with them. Therefore, Smith remained in England, publishing accounts of his voyages and adventures. What did Smith write, and why is it important? The first English book written in America was a letter Captain John Smith sent from Virginia to a friend in England, which was published in 1608 as A True Relation of Occurrences and Accidents in Virginia. In 1616, he published A Description of New England, based on his voyage of 1614. It includes the myth of Pocahontas. In 1624, he published The General History of Virginia, his longest and most influential work. It served as propaganda advertising lands he had explored in the New World as a land of freedom, joy, and abundance. It, along with his maps of America, lured thousands of settlers to America, including the Pilgrims and Puritans, who were in search of a new Eden in what he had called New England. The General History of Virginia Smith refers to himself in the third person throughout his account of his voyage to Jamestown, Virginia, from England in 1606. He describes the difficulties they had as they blew off course for five months sailing to the New World, their encounters with the Powhatan Indians once they arrived, and how Pocahontas supposedly saved his life from her father, Chief Powhatan. Although the account is a non-fiction account of actual events, Smith tends to present the Native Americans with the typical Eurocentric and Christian biases of his day, and he tends to exaggerate events to make himself appear perhaps more adventurous and brave than he really was, and to portray America as more abundant in resources and more idyllic than it really was. A Description of New England Smith describes his exploration of New England, leaving England in 1614 in his nonfiction account. He exaggerates the bounty and appeal of New England like an advertisement for investors and explorers, and as a result he lures pil the pilgrims and Puritans as well as many future colonists to the New World. He also coins the term New England. Although the voyage was a financial failure for his investors, he, he describes many bounties that he found on his voyage, such as fish, beaver skins, excellent harbors, hundreds of islands filled with abundant timber, various fauna, and fertile soil. The Myth versus Reality of Pocahontas In 1608, Smith first published his most famous adventure of his capture in Virginia by the Indians under Chief Powhatan in A True Relation. In it, he made no mention of Pocahontas. However, by 1624, seven years after Matacoas, or Pocahontas' death, he published the full details of this story. The story has become a well-known American legend told and retold throughout history of how Pocahontas rescued Smith from death from her father, Chief Powhatan. Historians, however, question the authenticity of Smith's later account, saying he was a braggart 
and exaggerated the events, or perhaps that the rescue was actually a ritual adoption by the Powhatan Indians. True or not, this story is one of the oldest examples of Indian captivity narratives and helped establish the genre of exploration reports that helped lure European settlers to America and helped establish the concept of America as a land of opportunity as well as helped inspire the desire for westward movement as our young country developed. Smith's, Smith's account of Pocahontas is also the chief source of what little is known about the Virginia Indians before their extinction due to disease, warfare, and, and rum. Please see the response of the descendants of the Powhatan tribe um, to the Disney movie called Pocahontas under the supplemental material in Moodle. Powhatan's Discourse of Peace and War in 1608, Chief Powhatan invited Smith to Werewakomoko to trade guns, swords, copper, and beads for Indian grains. But Smith was warned by a friendly Indian chief and by Pocahontas that her father planned to act, friend act friendly and get Smith and his men to give up their weapons and then plan to kill them. Smith translated his version of Powhatan's speech in 1624 and called it Powhatan's Discourse of Peace and War, in which Powhatan supposedly tries to convince Smith and his men to give up their weapons, but they do not, and they escape unharmed. <laughs>